What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how to adjust the clutch, the clutch pedal on your G35 350Z and yeah, pretty much make your clutch feel a thousand times better. Alright, so this is what you want to do for adjusting the clutch. It's really easy, it's a five minute job. So yeah, let's get started. So going down to your clutch pedal you can see so here's your clutch pedal going up you can see right right there there's a brass I'm not sure if you guys can see there's a see that silver screw that have lines on it right there so that's what you're looking for you can see I have about three threads um, into the the brass looking U shape. So what you want to do is so the more threads you have in the towards you, um, the clutch engage point is going to be lower. The less thread you have, the clutch engage point is going to be engage point is going to be higher. So what you want to do is you want to grab a 12 millimeter um, spinner and then loosen the nut behind it. This one, right there. So you want to loosen it up, and then you want to turn the screw backwards. If you want the engage point to be higher, which I want my engage point to be higher, because if you haven't seen my last video, I did a clutch job. So that's why I'm adjusting my clutch. My engage point is way too low. So I am adjusting it higher, but usually you guys have high engage point. So you want more threads going towards you. Right now I have three. I've heard a maximum you can have is four. But yeah, pretty much adjust a little bit, tighten it up, and then feel your clutch pedal. See how you like it, and then going back and adjust it again. All right, guys. So you can see the screw is loose. So now I adjusted it, and then you can see the front roughly have two, maybe two or three, more like two, two thread. So I can feel the adjustment point, the clutch uh, engage point is a lot higher, which is good. Um, so what I did is I used the applier for that to turn it because it's too small, your hand won't be able to turn that. So I use the long nose plier. So now all I need to do is just tighten it back up and yeah, pretty much good to go. So one point, one thing is you don't want your engage point to be too low because the potential problem is that if your engage point is too low, right? So your clutch is all the way to the bottom, but in reality, because the engage point is that low, your clutch and your your clutch is actually not fully disengaged like the plate is not fully disengaged so then you put the transmission into gear what that does is it's gonna wear out your synchro your synchronizer um, pretty much it'll wear out your synchro for like real freaking fast it eats up your synchro and then you're gonna start having shifting problem and then your transmission is fucked because your synchronizer is fucked so you definitely don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, just just um, just adjust that for a little bit, and then you know try it out, see how much more or it's enough for you, and then yeah, go from there. But yeah, that's pretty much um, for today's video. It's just a short little easy video, but I hope this help you guys out. Or definitely help you how you clutch feel and how your engage point engagement point is. So yeah, stay tuned for next video and and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.